This is Kiara, a game made by Ruska Tuli for the indie game maker, indie game maker development contest 2018, I guess. I don't remember the exact name of the contest, but it's on hosted on itch.io. And it's a game about a young lady who ends up in an elevator chasing an urban legend, I believe. Involves two of my favorite things, horror and puzzles. Uh, also involves the dead. So I'm intrigued. Let's see what this is all about. Hey, ever heard of the elevator game? Me neither, until a friend learned about it at a small horror con some ten years ago. Kiara was her name. She was so into it, and of course, she wanted to try it. She even got me to tag along. I didn't go into the elevator, though. It's just a kid's game, I thought. That was the last day I saw my friend. Ten years is a long time. After we all mourned her, life slowly started to move on. I even got a job running errands at a local office. Everything was finally looking a bit better. I really thought I'd never see my friend again. Until... Until. Oh, I'm sorry. giving me the chills. Her eyes. There was something not right with her eyes. Like she could see right into my soul. Where, where is she going? What's that? Did I see that right? There was something seriously wrong with her. The call button, it's not responding. Maybe I should just take the stairs. Where is everybody? Hello? Anybody here? Jim? Anders? Anyone? There's no one here. That can't be right. What? What was that? It came from that room. Should I... Should I check it out? I don't have the... Mina? Mina, is that you? Oh, 
Who's this? It is you. So glad you made it. Kiara. So this is the friend that we lost ten years ago? To the elevator game? So you did get my message after all. Took your sweet time though. Been waiting forever. And Kiara, how can you What? You're alive? No, this can't be. I must be dreaming. What are you babbling about? You made it here. The other side. You did come through the elevator, though, right? You're not, you know, dead. I, I don't understand. What happened to you? How can you be here? Where have you been? What? Here. I used the elevator, don't you remember? I sent you a message later that it worked. You didn't answer, though, which was a bit mean. That, that was because I thought you were dead. The elevator? Yes, the elevator. Remember? I followed the guide and it worked. Kiara, that was ten years ago. I thought you were dead. Someone kidnapped you or something. We all mourned for you. Ten years? Huh, that's weird. Time does work differently here, so it could be true. But hey, now that you're here, we can finally go back. Uh, go back where? You're not making any sense. Look, I know it's much to process and stuff. I need your help. Am... am I dead? Dead? No. Why would you be dead? Wait, you did come through the elevator, didn't you? You didn't answer before. Uh, yes. Then you're not dead. That's good. My head hurts. I give you an aspirin, but I haven't found a pharmacy, so I can't. You're here. You can save the souls. You can then take me with you, and we can leave this, this rather unpleasant place. What? Yes, you can do it. You can always read people far better than I could. That's our ticket out of here. What do you say? Please say yes. Pretty please. Okay. Well, let's say for a moment that I believe all this. That I'm not going insane. What is it you want me to do? Save a few souls in exchange for hours. How does that even work? How can I save souls? Well, it's easy-ish. All, all I have to do is remind them who they are. The rest comes naturally. Um. You see? Oh, I can move while we're talking. On every floor, there's someone trapped. There's one here, too. Did you say floors? Well, I call them floors. It's easier. What else do you call them? You come, in using, you come in using the elevator and leave it the same way. Isn't that the definition of a floor? 
I wonder if the plan is to start, because we went from the bottom floor where uh, the lovely uh, twisted neck lady came got off. We went up to the 10th floor. I wonder if the plan is to fill all those floors from 10 down to 1 with content. Right. As I said, there's someone trapped here, but you can't find her yet. She's probably hidden. To lure her out, you need to uh, find something from their past. I'm just going to wander down here. Bye, Kiara. Why? This is still a lot to take in. Because they tend to forget who they were before being trapped here. See, when they make their home, they manifest objects, something that holds huge significance to them, or something. I'm not really sure how that works. You sure you know what you're talking about? Just find the objects they left behind and piece together their past. When that's done, you can remind them of their, well, past. Hopefully they'll find peace. How do you know so much about this place? up on things. Yeah, that's it. And I might have actually be dead. I don't know. Anyways, I'll be here if you need me. You're not going to help? Well, no. I'm not allowed to participate anymore since I've already failed this. Did they set a time limit on your escape? I'm here if you have any questions. Oh, and you might see some weird stuff around here, so just try not to get too freaked out. Okay? Okay, Kiara. Well, we are Mina. We can interact with things. E button. Anything more to say? Find the objects they left behind and piece together their past. When that's done, you can them of their past and hopefully they'll find peace. I'm calling my spot right now. Kiara over there is actually dead, and that's why she can't save any souls anymore. This is a really cute style. It's definitely unique controls. I assume I'm going to go back out here. Let's see what else is here for us to explore.
somehow. Joan Aller. Good for her. Is that who we're looking for? One year sobriety coin. Joan Aller. Female patient, no traces of alcohol, possible paralysis. Didn't have glasses on. Where's that email? Ugh. It's gotta be. Obviously, the woman we're looking for is Joe.
there's something I'm expecting to find in one of these other rooms that I'm not seeing for some reason. slightly lost here. I'm pretty certain that this puzzle had something to do with... This. Obviously filled with Eve's, Mike's, Will, E, M. E, M, W. Oh, hello. 
Hello. Hello. Find the line. Window to your inner side. I bet I know where that is. That's the bathroom. Oh, hello. A place where for a fee you can have a filling time? Vending machine? It's back by the eye. A moment trapped in. A moment trapped in time. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be... That's a light switch. Yeah! Whoa. Interact E in space. Oh, this is funky. There's paper clipping. Car crash leaves one dead and one injured. Approximately 5 p.m. Thursday evening. In a recently formed sinkhole, the weather was very poor at the time of the accident due to a downpour. The car was driven by a female with one passenger, a young child. Oh no. The driver was hushed to the hospital. The passenger was found dead at the scene. Oh no. The cause of the accident is currently unknown. But for some reason, the driver failed to notice the warning signs posted near the sinkhole. Witnesses, however, have given statements that a broken bottle of wine was seen at the scene. The alcohol might have something to do with the accident. The police are currently investigating them. Declined to comment for. Oh no. It's really sad. do it. 
you ready? Well, I guess let's do this. Oh, who goes there? Who dares to interrupt my slumber? Oh, God. You made a mistake coming here. There we go. The evil you still can. Rest assured that offer will not last long. I'm Mina, and I've come to help you. Help? Ha! You can't help me. No one can. Just go and leave me be. I can help you remember to move on. say it's a, a bit rough in parts. There's definitely room for improvement, but you sell you you sell me a game about helping spirits move on, and you immediately got my attention. That's a big topic for me. 
to say that's a topic that I've had my own fiction ideas on. And that's a topic I want to write more. I want to write more on. So I'm definitely interested to see where this goes. I mean, there's me talking from this from the perspective of someone who's never uh, attempted to make a game just from someone who's played a lot of these games there's some stuff maybe more visual indication who's talking at any given time it's, I, I really like how this game how this game is set up where you can move around while reading flavor text in some cases just walking away from a flavor text window that's up makes it go away that's cool I like that I wish there was more flavor text outside of just the only objects you could interact with but I feel like that I feel like that'd be cool to just flesh it out some more and hopefully there's more areas that sort of get worked into this that are sort of geared more toward the spirits inhabiting the floor instead of how we, Mina, perceive the floor. But I'm definitely interested to see where this where this goes from here. Supposedly there supposedly there's another ending, which I assume is just failing the final uh, reconstruction of fate sort of thing. The, the final encounter kind of reminds me of another game for the Switch called Deathmark, which vaguely sim vaguely similar premise in that you do some investigation collecting key objects and then the end is the final showdown with the spirit of the, f of the floor of the hour. What was intriguing about that is that Obviously, if you get the final encounter wrong, you game over. But there's a way to end the final encounter that's good, that appeases them. And there's a way to end the final encounter that's bad and just sort of destroys them, which causes you consequences. So that's that's what that last question having alcohol as a choice in that last question. That's what that struck me as. I'm, I, might, I might go back and try that out then. It wasn't very long all in all, but interesting. I might try that out then to see if there's a specific bad end for picking alcohol. It feels like there should be, <laughs> in my personal opinion. Or if it's just any wrong choice is just game over. So we're going to try that out. I'll have a link to this in the video description, but... Interested to see more. Until next time. Until then. Wow, this is an old computer. It might actually be older than me. There's one file open. It looks like an email. I'm sorry to inform you, but we have had no choice but to assign your son, Jacob Oliver, to detention for blatant disregard of public safety. Seen chasing after another student while swinging a baseball bat. Holy shit, Jacob! As you can truly understand. You can't allow this kind of behavior at an elementary school. Well, this is that. Just supposed to be a safe haven for all the students. That detention should serve as a good reminder for your son. Detention will end at 5 p.m. and you can come pick him up then. Regards, Mrs. Jones. Your son will get into trouble and send him to detention. Is it normal to have the kids stay that long? 5 p.m. That seems unnecessary. I wonder if that's important. Well, it's quite serious. So that's the missing text that we had for the email, which I guess I sequence broke. I guess I technically sequence broke. Because when I went and got one of those items down here, it just sort of cleared that out.
So this was a gift that she just took home with her. Didn't really play into the uh, sobriety side of things. like with this sort of game, it's either you sort of introduce the subject of the, the floor early on, or you just kind of leave it vague, so you don't really know who the, who the spirit of the floor is. So you just kind of get that factoid about someone's going to detention. You get the sobriety coin for Joan Aller. Oh, Joan Aller, Jacob Aller, connect the dots. You get the wine, get the medical records, no alcohol. Uh, what do I need to do here? No, I need to examine you first. Hello. It's a space for him, but his space doesn't do anything. Yeah, I feel like it's... You should word all of the significant objects you find throughout a level in a way that you don't know who the heck you're talking about or who the heck you're trying to save and you just gotta piece it together. So that when you find... But you can do really cool things with... I've... As a, Heck, I feel like with the objects that they laid out, they could... It would pierce the... It's an interesting, sad tale to piece together. It's, uh... Just, like... Okay, so, when you answer a question wrong, she just corrects you. Ah, uh, this has got to be the bad end. Whoa, well, no. Oh, okay. Oh. You failed too? That's so sad. She's tricky, I know. But hey, it's not the end of the world. There's plenty of others to help. Wait a minute, Kiara. You said you couldn't get out because you failed once. Well, I, uh, I mean, I didn't have it in me to try again. And I wasn't offered that same deal you now have. What luck, right? Come on now, let's go. Elevator 
here will take us to another level. So exciting. Why do I have the feeling you're not telling everything? Nonsense. Come now. Let's go. What's to do? Huh. I have to admit that wasn't what I was expecting. Especially since Kiara specifically told us outside of that room that once you enter, you can't leave. Can't go back. So, what's happening after the encounter with Joe and Oliver's spirit is still unclear. But... still interested to see where this goes, the premise is still intriguing. Anyways, hope, hope you enjoyed the video, hope my thoughts were meaningful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.